So being a tech enthusiast, one of the downside is that you easily get bored with the stuff that you recently bought. So you end up buying more than one item that you don't really need to have more than one. Um, but in this case, I have to actually, it has to be a bit of a different case where I've actually been using the Jellicombe vertical mouse for um, almost a year now. And one of the things is that the, um, the wheel function that I need most because I actually get involved with a lot of design side of the works where I use AutoCAD, SketchUp uh, and so on is that you need that wheel of zooming in and zooming out. But when that start to actually malfunction a bit because of all the dirt and the grease that you have been gathering and that grease have actually been contained inside the wheel function and it's not working properly, that's when you actually decide to get a really good proper uh, Logitech Lightspeed uh, model of G604. So I'm really, really excited to try this out because it's another brand new product. But one of the things that really stands out because I believe this is for a gaming mouse, uh, for gaming purpose, it has this 15 tactical position control. So I presume I could do a lot of shortcuts with it. I can see the plus and minus side, that could be uh, the um, volume up and down. That would be really useful if, it, if that's the case. Or maybe I could shortcut that using the Logitech software, uh, but also this really light speed of converting into a uh, Bluetooth to a wireless seems to be a really unique um, feature as well. And it's quite a pricey mouse, but then again, I realized I use more mouse than the actual pen nowadays of, because of my daily career, uh, full-time job and so on. So mouse is very important. So I'm gonna make sure I get a proper mouse. But anyhow, enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Very clean cut with the human kami, that's very good. And if I open it up, the moment of truth, let's see what's inside. Okay, so that's the quick manual or whatever it is. Ah, oh, it comes with the Duracell uh, battery as well. USB cable, okay. Extension USB cable for some reason. So maybe that you could actually manually connect it, which I guess is another option that you can have. Okay, so let's take the original package off, but, and also the seal, ASMR. So I forgot to mention that it comes with a very quick note, um, pretty straightforward how to set up your uh, mouse and use it and etc. And also a really nice, um, good quality sticker. This actually take off the part we actually could put in the battery so i guess the battery goes this way um, but we also have the usb dongle as well for more accurate use i have to say other than this patch here the rest is kind of like a light cheap plastic feel i mean don't get me wrong i'm not trying to compare uh, that this video is not mainly for comparison of these two uh, because it's a vertical mouse but this has all soft uh, feeling all around this silicone kind of feel but on, for, on this one uh, we got this soft silicone patch here here but the rest is just pretty much a light plastic feel um, and also if you look at the sideways again we got this really nice sort of almost metallic kind of feel of the wheel and uh, the light uh, switch which is really good that's really promising again this one has a bit of a grease you know, gathering sort of a con side of it. And then we got also has have the plus and minus and also these G9 button all the way down to G4. Right, so um, I actually downloaded the software for the Logitech G604 Lightspeed and I've actually been playing around with it and I found it really, really um, brilliant software to use because if you actually click on it I'll show you what what's going on here so as you can see this is a desktop setting for AutoCAD uh, for my mouse and what I've done here you know you can see the plus and the minus side of it which is supposed to be a DPI sensitivity level of your mouse curse that um, I actually change it to redo and undo that's actually control um, which one is it the control Y and control Z that has been pasted over to the plus and minus because I do use that quite a lot when I actually use the AutoCAD I got the um, AutoCAD line. This is a command which I wasn't aware that I found out from using this diagram, which is that, you know, the scrolling um, up and down um, scroll, if you actually nudge it into the right hand side, that's also another short key. If you actually nudge it to the left, that's another command. So on the right, I actually 
uh, put in the AutoCAD line and on the left which is the AutoCAD circle. Now if we go to the sideways which we have six uh, short keys I put in the enter and then uh, because I do use a lot of enter after I've typed in the command. Um, also there's the AutoCAD copy because I do a lot of copy and paste and uh, because enter is also another command for pasting as well um, and then mirror which is like when you do a lot of mirror imaging copying the lines that you have drawn uh, that's for the uh, right hand side top on the AutoCAD DI which is the measurements of the distance of the line because I do use that a lot and hatching as well and then finally the AutoCAD properties so the way how I did this is obviously if you go to the commands or the keys you won't be able to find these things because you have, to, you have to manually type in the short words. So the way how you put in rather a bit more complicated in the short commands is you go to macros and then you create a new macros. This is really easy. So the way how you do it is you put in the title as a reminder. So I'll put it AutoCAD and then let's call it Polyline. Okay, because that's what it's for. And um, I really don't need to repeat it. So I just need to type in repeat, no repeat, and then press the start now and text and emojis. So what I'll put in is um, the shortcut of polyline on AutoCAD is PO. I think it's poly. Okay, and then done. And then if I press another text because I need an enter to finish it because I don't want to press enter all the single time. I just press in the enter and that's done. So you can see that this actually, you could create series of commands to shorten your time of typing words. So then if I save it, that will all, all of a sudden be added to the AutoCAD polyline. Because I repeated it, um, Logitech automatically put in number one as a duplicated uh, one. So all I need to do is if I want to um, use one of these buttons, I just you know, paste it over, drag it over to one of them, and that immediately becomes a shortcut. So that's the beauty about this macro. But anyhow, if I actually go to the um, AutoCAD to show you what I've actually been doing. So nudging on the right hand side, I could create um, a straight line. And then if I want to create another circle, I just need to nudge on to the left, and then I create a circle there. Okay, and um, if I want to copy this, I select it, and then I use one of the side um, button which is this is a copy so I'm copying it now like that and then if I want to get out of this copy mode I just press enter uh, which is on the top left and then if I want to mirror image it I use the um, right hand side top so that's the mirror image connected and then if I want to get out I just press enter that's why I actually put in the enter as one of the um, short key now if I want to measure the distance of this line I just type on, on the bottom left and then it will show me that it's actually 15 millimeters. And then if I want to actually um, put a hatch on one of the circle here, that's how it is. And then lastly, if I want to find out the property or the area, all I need to do is um, bottom right a button and it will show me the property. So those are the shortcuts that I created for the AutoCAD. Anyway, so if you like this setting, so if you add, want to add a bit more on it, you could always go into my community page that I actually have uploaded. I actually created my new uh, profile on the Logitech community side and uploaded the AutoCAD version uh, for the uh, for this mouse. And also, I also added another game, which is one of my favorite recent game called Romance of the Three Kingdoms. If I just go here, all I need to do is just choose Romance of the Three Kingdoms. And there's about 11 shortcuts that I just need to add. So it's one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's about 11, 10 or 11 shortcuts that are all I need to add, which is, has been added here. It's all, only just one uh, alphabetical word. But if I want to swap back to AutoCAD because I need to use on AutoCAD, all I need to do is go to the shortcut on here, double click on it, open the Logitech software, and then quickly change it to L um, the AutoCAD mode, and it's all good to go. So you might be wondering why do you actually need to spend up to 100 US dollars for a single piece of a mouse? And for me, it depends on what you do for your daily life, but for me, um, 
using computer mouse on my daily activity is one of the most uh, thing that I do, um, sadly, uh, because I need to draw AutoCAD for getting paid for what I do and also um, for video editing or sometimes entertainment purpose of playing some games and so on as well. So if I want to do something uh, that I often do, I want to make sure I do it properly in the most comfortable and the most efficient way. So I think spending 100 quid for a mouse or 100 US dollars for mouse is nothing. It's like musician. Why would they pay one of the best instruments? Because they want to make sure uh, they actually get the sound right. You know, it's that sort of professional feel where you are. So therefore, I'm really delighted I actually bought this, but it's not only the actual hardware, but the software side of Logitech, it actually goes beyond of what you, you know, it's, really worth of what you, the money you pay for because like you can actually add despite the slim design another 10 or 11 shortcuts uh, for that actually get ease off your life of your daily career work if you see what i mean and i just love the design after putting the double uh, a battery i love the way how the weight and the movement works it's perfectly designed almost and um and the one of the things that i'm really amazed about which is very, pretty much nothing is that normally i would expect a blue or red uh, light to pop out but it's virtually invisible actually i don't know how they did it but they have actually come all the way through i just can't believe how much of the technology it evolves through a few years time because i thought when i was using the jelly comb it was probably one of the best mouse that you can use but for this i'm actually blown away once again with so many various purpose you can use it for. It's not only a mouse, but it's like a really clever sort of extension of a keyboard, if you see what I mean. And this, these are the joys, I guess, why I actually buy so many texts to learn what are the latest technologies are. But all the way, just want to just send a great respect to Logitech of how cleverly they came up with this, such a clever device. But um, yeah, I'm pleased overall to get this brilliant mouse. Um, that's all I want to say. So uh, thank you very much Logitech for coming up with this really perfect device for, for a guy like me who use AutoCAD for my daily life. Um, but I hope this, this video answers your query not only on the AutoCAD side but also on the gaming side. I think my video actually demonstrated how well you can use it for shortcuts for your gaming as well. But if you have any queries please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.